Well, well, well. It's been four weeks that the BMW has been down. And well, I got the car starting last week. Well, the fourth week counts as the install for the sunroof. Uh, so, where to get to? Um, I'm gonna go move into the interior and show you guys what I've done. I know a lot of you guys seen the carbon fiber door cards already, but it was kind of messy with the blue wrap on it and it just didn't look clear. So, check it out. This is officially how the carbon door cards look like. Looks very mint inside. Yep, and here's my budget $300 bucket seats that I got off of a junkyard with their mint condition, you guys. Um, for yeah, 300 bucks, 150 for each pretty much. I've done my own mounting tabs, as you can see. These are E46 chassis, and I myself, with Derek for the starting piece, uh, cut and welded these brackets and made E46 chassis mounts make it fit into an E92. And I did it as well for the passenger side. The passenger side came out more straight though, simply because, you know, first one is a mock-up and then the second one came out clean. So I might have to redo this later in the future. But other than that though, you guys, if we move on top, my sunroof, uh, my sunroof is now deleted. And I went with the carbon fiber sunroof kit, um, delete kit pretty much. and. Look at that, it looks pretty damn clean. And also my rear seat dilly is, you know, no rear seats. And also I did a dual fuel pump set up in the rear with a hard plug and play harness with boost reference set to 15 PSI to activate the secondary pump. And that is pretty much it for the inside. As you can see, it is pretty gutted and it feels lightweight. You can easily tell how light it is in the car now. Like if you just drive around, it just feels great now. It feels very well balanced. Uh, the only problem is hooking now. Something because if you remove way off a car, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm hoping with a good set of tires, I should hook very good. If not, then there's this guy having a six point roll cage for sale and I might just buy that to add it into the safety and add 200 pounds back, pretty much what I've lost inside the, inside the interior. So yeah, six point roll cage wouldn't be that bad as all, but I'll see you first if it hooks on sticky tires. Anyways, looking at the engine bay, it doesn't look that crazy, but it's honest work. Um, so yeah, the arm racing passenger inlets, these things make the car go choo-choo now. And we got our PR racing coil packs, which just makes the engine idle very good with the index 12 injectors. I pour injection inside there that you can not simply see. My C6 box is inside that DME location. And I did a relocation for the coolant reservoir, power steering reservoir, and relocated my catch can to this location. And yeah, my blow off out got an extended line sim because everything got pushed out one to two inches out more. And everything was heat wrapped around locations where things get a little hot. And I also did a TSF aluminum radiator now, it, which is now keeping my oil temps below one, well, below 210. Now it sits at 180, which is pretty damn awesome. Other than that, though, you guys, um, let's see. I was going to do something before I close this. I'm going to check my clutch can. But other than that, you guys, yeah. This is a Beamer, and it's officially done and ready to get tuned. It's just, you know, my tuner, I already got it last, I purchased it last Sunday. And so far he's only got back to me twice. He gave me a base map and I shouldn't be driving it, but I've been driving it lately on a base map thing because I got to get going places. This is my go-to car and he's just big lagging it. Never expected a tuner to lag this much. I'm not going to say the company name thing because his reputation is pretty high, but um, my expectations were pretty high as well for you know for being a big company name and i might actually just get my refund who knows you guys i'm gonna wait it off see what happens but hopefully it doesn't go to the result of getting my refund back and going to another tuner i would like to work with him but anyways uh this is pretty much what's going on with the beamer and hopefully everything stays boosted and i hope i don't get a boost leak at 30 pounds of boost